Hey, I'm Curtis Bowdy, and this is the Scope of Science, and I just woke up really early today when a freaking fire ant bit me in the face, <laughs> but I get to watch the sunrise, which is great. I'm also here on this hill because I want to talk about how and why there are rounded, smooth rocks on a hill in the desert in Utah. How did they get here? And what does that mean about the rest of this beautiful landscape? Let's check it out. Now, how does a very tough rock like this end up with such rounded, smooth edges the whole way around the rock? Now, there's a process for what could smooth this out. And if you've ever seen something like old hardwood floors, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. On old hardwood floors, there's paths where people walk or where furniture is and isn't. There's marks in the floor from where there has been a lot of wear. Now, now that wear has built up over a long period of time, in some cases many decades, and that wear is just caused by foot traffic. Now, these rocks obviously aren't eroded from footprints because we're in the desert and there's not a lot of people around. So what sorts of natural forces could cause something to erode? Well, it needs to be moving, of the things that you know that are moving, there's animals, there's things like water, and there's things like wind. My point here is that some type of erosion has happened on this hill where I'm at in this desert. Okay. Now, what about the fact that there's a ton of different types of rock? If I look down at any point, I can pick up several different types of rock. They, now, they probably didn't form in that location. They were probably somehow carried there or moved there over a long period of time by some natural process, like a stream bed or a river. Now, it's kind of hard to imagine a river in the desert, but this is Indian Creek, and there is actually some water over there that's been there for a very, very long time. Now, what's cool about this creek is that to get to it, you actually have to drive down. It's like you're driving into a canyon. You're driving below the ground level of everything else that's around it. That was our elevation before we drove into the creek. And we drove that difference in elevation till we got down to the base of the creek. Now, what that means is that all of this that you see, all of the grass at least, is below the rest of the level of elevation of the area around it. Now, these mountain type things, we call them bluffs, they actually didn't pop out out of the ground, they were eroded. If you look at any of these features around us, you'll see that they are formed from a lot of layers. Let's zoom in on, say, this one here. You can see it is a bunch of horizontal lines this way, running across it. Now, it's like there was layers and layers of sediment that built up over time to form those huge rocks. Now, that didn't just happen to all happen on a hill. At one point, that sediment stretched this entire creek, this entire canyon. And over time, the, the part that I'm standing on, and the part that you can see now, that lower part has been eroded. So in terms of erosion, think about this. Sand. Where does it come from? Well, it comes from rocks. And it's just rocks that have been broken apart into the finest of particles. Now, that's kind of neat. But think about it. This is the desert. Look at all the freaking sand. <laughs> Think about how many rocks that would have taken to make. Think about all the time that that would have taken to make all of those rocks turning into all of this sand. It makes sense that all of this carved away rock has turned to all of this sand. We don't need to actually sit and watch the process. We can look at all of the clues and piece them together to figure out what the story is. We can see that, oh yeah, there's all of these rocks at the base here that have clearly rolled from higher up. And if we can repeat that process in our mind, we can start to visualize what this would have looked like 
millions or billions of years ago. And that's really what earth science and geology are about. It's about taking the clues and doing detective work. In fact, I guess that's really what science is about when it all comes down to it. Erosion makes it possible for this hill to have once been a riverbed, to have once had running water on it. And yeah, there was running water on the land around it as well, but that's all been eroded away. That's all gone now. That's a pretty spectacular process. It's hard to even fathom. And that's why erosion is cool and these timescales are kind of hard to think about. And speaking of timescales, the sunrise is finally happening. Soon I can go and get my coffee. <laughs> Look at that. It's finally hitting the six-shooter bluff in the distance. Now I barely introduced the topic of erosion in this video, but I can only cover so much in a single video. That's why I'm making a video every week, so if you want to learn more about earth science, stay tuned, you could subscribe. If you didn't like this channel, you could just dislike this channel. I would love it if you gave me some feedback, and if you did like the channel, please do that. And thanks so much for watching.